Available antiretroviral agents target key steps of HIV replication. Glycoproteins, GP120 and GP41 on the viral envelope interact with cell surface receptors and co-receptors enabling the virus to penetrate into the cell. CCR5 antagonists prevent viral entry into the cell by affecting GP120 CCR5 co-receptor binding. Fusion inhibitors prevent viral entry by blocking the activity of the envelope glycoprotein GP41. Once inside the cell, viral RNA is released and the viral reverse transcriptase synthesizes a double-stranded DNA from the single-stranded RNA. This is one of the key steps of viral replication inhibited by nucleoside and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Then the double-stranded DNA contained in pre-integration complex is transported into the nucleus of the host cell. Inside the nucleus, viral integrase integrates the linear viral DNA into the cell's DNA. This step can be inhibited by integrase inhibitors. DNA transcription to RNA begins when the cell is activated. The cell then uses cut spliced RNA sequences to synthesize envelope glycoproteins and capsid proteins in the form of undifferentiated precursors. Viral protease, which arises from a self-cleaving process, in turn cleaves these precursors to form their mature proteins and the genomic RNA capsid. This last key step is the target of the protease inhibitors. The new virion budding on the surface of the cell finally leaves the cell and goes on to infect another cell. Reverse transcriptase, a key enzyme in the viral replication cycle, is a heterodimer formed by two protein subunits, P51 and P66. Its crystallographic structure, often represented like a right hand, is composed of several domains. The fingers, the thumb, which represents the flexible region, and the palm, containing the enzyme catalytic site, the connection region, and the RNA's H domain. Because of their chemical structure and mechanism of action, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors belong to a different class of antiretroviral agents than nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. They act by non-competitive binding to the reverse transcriptase. Unlike their nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors counterparts, they do not require phosphorylation for activation. The binding site of non-nucleoside inhibitors is a hydrophobic pocket situated far from the catalytic site of reverse transcriptase. This pocket is situated at the interface between P66 and P51 and is delineated by several amino acids L100, K101, K103, V179 and Y181 on the subunit P66 and E138 on P51. This class includes first-generation compounds and second-generation non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors First-generation compounds have a rigid chemical structure and are characterized by a low genetic barrier to resistance and high-level cross-resistance. One or two mutations are easily selected, leading to high-level resistance. K101 
K103N, Y181C, L100I, and G190A are mutations frequently selected by first-generation non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. In pre-treated patients, up to 50% of those with virologic failure show resistance to the first-generation NNRTI. The development for new non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors which are effective against resistant viruses is thus crucial.